Welcome back to I think this is our fourth tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to create our tech our image section image text section the section with the image on the left and text on the right it's very similar to how we created the text image section in the previous tutorial just everything's going to be backwards so we're going to go through this one and uh, uh, so let's get started click on custom fields click on uh, edit flexible content and if we open this flexible content you will now see that we have here our hero section we have a text image section and let's click on here on add new and we're going to add a new section so there should be this here now so now we're going to create the image text section so to click and type in image pardon me left image no we want this to be called uh, image text image dash text text tab over then we add field and let's put in there left image tab over we want this to be a uh, image we want it to be a URL and we preview size we're going to select uh, large and we want it to take up 50 percent that's at our next section we're going to call this write text tab over we're going to use the WYSIWYG editor and uh, yeah, put 50 percent for wrapper attributes and then uh, let's add a field again. Click on add field. And uh, we're gonna call this one CSS class. And the tech field type is gonna be text. And under here, under wrapper attributes, we're gonna put 100 because we want this one to take up its own line. So let's go up here and click uh, update. So let's go to our page once this finishes loading. Uh, pages. Let's say edit the home page. And now we can see that we have an option to select image texts. So let's do that. So let's put in some uh, the text the image first of all. What was that second image I used? I think it was a yummy looking sandwich this guy yeah, let's select him okay and then let's put in some text uh, let's just change this to to, 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 to grill vegetable you notice everything pretty much is vegetarian there that's just because I am vegetarian so just wanted to show everything vegetarian and uh, for CSS class again we're gonna leave it empty you can put dark or whatever you like and we'll go over that later when we do the CSS style but for now just leave it like that click on update and let's go back to our page and refresh page and refresh we are on our page what am I saying um, so we have now three sections and uh, now we can add our other sections quite easily so now we need another after the image text section image text section we need a text image section again and the third picture I used I think was a lasagna so let's add that and again, let's put in the lorem ipsum. And uh, here, let's put in vegetable lasagna. Okay, that's it for that one. And then uh, one more section, another text image section. Let's put that there. Wait a second. Let me pause this for a sec. Yeah, we got two by them by mistake. Im text image, text image. That's wrong. 
let's get rid of this guy. Add this, we need an image text section. So we're gonna add this coffee cup. Select it, let's put this, and let's call that fresh coffee. Okay. And the last section we wanna add is another hero section. So let's click here. So let's add the hero image, this coffee cup. And uh, let me grab some uh, Lorem Ipsen text. Let me just copy this. Give me one second and I get some Lorem Ipsen. So let's paste in that Lorem Ipsen text. There you go. And we're not going to put a show call to action button here. Let's minimize this. So now we have here our six sections. So let's update that. And that's it for this part of this tutorial. We've covered now all of the back, uh, the, well, some of the back end, I guess you can say, the, the actual creating of the custom fields and populating of the information on the page. On our next tutorial, we're gonna go into adding the code that makes it appear on our page because like I said, we're gonna click on update there again. And if we were to go to our our home page right now, there's nothing there because we don't ha we haven't created the templates yet. So we're gonna do that in our next tutorial. So that's it for this one. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my webpage wpbasics.org. And if you have any comments, shoot them down below, and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Talk to you later. Bye bye.